Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how we can use the books. Down below in the description you will have timestamps so we can actually skip the video or like skip parts of the videos that you understand. So let's start. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to right top corner to sign up. I'm going to use the start free trial. Simply I will, I'm going to log in like with Facebook. It's okay. And now continue. You can use your own email or Gmail. And voila, here we are. So straight away, we got a dashboard here. When you're gonna be in dashboard, on the left side, you can find shortcuts for invoices, transactions, reports, contacts, tracking, and payroll. On the right top, you can see that you can start tracking time. If we are going to create some customers and some projects that you can actually you can actually track time here. Here you can see the financial performance. When I'm going to create invoices and bills, we will find it here. And then on our left bottom, we can see expenses. And right bottom, we can see track time that we tracked in our business. First thing first, we are going to more and we are going to set up our account. Then we are going to create customers and vendors, items, and we'll go step by step with invoices transactions etc so let's start first account here in our account i'm going to change the name to, to something else this is my company in here in my country then i can simply upload the logo i'm going to upload the baby yoda but it's like a lot of files is 100 kilobytes so i can i'm gonna like add this one address again you just add here the save phone number save and right when you have it we are going further so let's accept payments here now you can accept it with paypal stripe or low pay or square you can connect it then you're gonna have a team members here that you can simply add like i don't know let's say accountant or some administration documents that you can like uh, upload documents to Zipbox. Then you're gonna have locations here. Then where are you? In preferences, and now you can have credit card processor, account currency. We call people who buy from us customers. We call people who sell to us vendors or merchants. You can change that, and you can literally tracking preferences, accounting preferences. You can edit that, and then you can like invoice estimate preference. So. We can go default BCC address. That will be the address that you would get the mail to. Accept CC by default. And then you can like edit this too if you want to. The next thing we're going to have are integrations. In integrations, again, we can see if we have good stuff for payrolling. Then we see Square and Slack for project management. And this is how you can edit your account. The next thing we are going to do is that we are going to contact and we are going to set up our customers and vendors. So let's start. To add a contact, you can simply import them or simply click here, add a contact, right? I'm going to add my name here, a country, website, and if it's like one 099 contractor, click save. Right after you do it, it's not going to be straight away customer or vendor. If I'm going to assign uh, sales or expense, then it's going to be a vendor. Or, let me show you. Then it's going to be uh, like my customer or my vendor. So I click plus again and I'm going to name this vendor. And we're going to make from this contact vendor. Click save. Okay, so we have two contacts right now. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to invoices and we are going first create items so we can like create invoices and estimates. In items, we can simply click again, add item right here on the top right corner. I'm going to display name book, display description book one, price 50. If I have group, I can add it to group and we can add it to type invoice rate and the default category is going to be sales and now click save you can also add notes here okay we got a first then what i can do is click plus again 
display name book one description book two i can add a price let's go 660 and type is going to be bill and click save and we can see right here that this is a bill item and this is an invoice item so when we have the items we can go to estimates invoices recurring profiles and reminders let's start invoicing now bill to customer okay title this is going to be book we can add book one with the description book one it's a book item due i can change 28 of the first really simple creation i can add discount i can add the terms the title and now what you can do is just save add payment or final finalize for sending so finalize for sending you can also add a payment here if you want to okay send to this email invoice you got a new invoice from i can also download it and finalize and send to send invoice please verify your email address okay i have to verify my either email address but this is pretty much it how you do it you can also accept credit cards and okay so we can go finance for sending and now invoice was sent successfully and this is how you can simply send email and voila look at this you get a new invoice and this is how it looks like view and pay now and now i can like if i'm going to have uh, option to pay if you just activate your payment processor people can actually start paying straight away so this is how you can easily create invoice in zipbooks next thing we are going to look on estimates in estimates same thing create an estimate customer title book one it's an invoice item okay 50 50 we can go with a hours two click save and then i can mark it as accept or convert it to invoice on the right top corner then again the same thing recurring profiles create a recurring profile and again i can build two but the only difference is that on the right top corner you're gonna have the starts on january 20 2021 and recurs monthly and max infinite and you can change that so you can schedule it all the time so this is how the recurring profile i don't know if i should again send the invoice but i think this is really understandable then you can have like billing here you can accept credit cards send invoices and receipts include the time and expenses and max would be like this is simple right so this is how recurring invoices works and then you have reminders here the last thing is that you can add a reminder days delinquent until reminder reminder email subject body and would you like to send your customer we can go like five days body pay save and voila since five days after due date if the invoice is not paid so this is how we can simply form invoices and create items the next thing we are going to look on are transactions so let's see so in transactions you're gonna have sales here expenses bank transactions then you can have reconciliation the categories that you can add tax recurring bills and manage banks so let's see on transactions on transactions you can simply click on a plus here on the right top corner and go with a custom transfer deposit or expense when i'm going with a custom again i can change the choose the category add the tags here add the name custom transaction i can amount 
25 category can be like i don't know let's go with sales right and click save and voila here we got it again i can go plus i can transfer from account to account this is also really simple to understand and then click plus here and you can deposit money amount category liabilities or let's go with 30 liabilities i can add a split here if you want to edition details customer order text notes click save and voila here we got it and then expenses paid from account cash 25 category can be expenses right click save and voila as you can see it's red right now so this is how transactions works then you can like sales here expenses or bank transactions and you can simply add manually bank transaction or connect the bank the next part is reconciliation I can make the video about it also with payroll so if you're interested let me down below in the comments the next thing is categories in the categories you can simply delete a category or archive it i'll go to the right corner again to import and just add a name and parent category and you can turn on reconciliation the next thing we're gonna click on our tags in tags you can simply go on custom and add the name like tag so and choose a type location business unit department sales channel product type as i have it right here then you have locations here and contact and projects then you have recurring you can have a recurring transaction so let's say that transaction name is going to be recurring books max one two three one two five and recurring weekly monthly yearly weekly to account you can go to cash credit can be like 50 or they like really choose which one you want which one you need 50 or debit 50 account let's go with sales really play around it and do as much as you want here See? you see always the difference here between debits and credits so as you can see recurring books liabilities and sales debit and credit 100 100 you can again add a tax here tax one or you can simply choose different tags that we created and click save next thing are bills in bills you can simply click again plus and you choose a vendor that we created then you just add your bill or reference let's go with 55 amount can be based on a book one that we created as a bill item then we are going to choose a category we can go with assets due date can be 28 and voila here we got it now we can simply save it and you can add a payment if you want to amount i uh, know 25 and paid from account cash lock payment and now when i would go to bill i can see it right here and see total paid due 95 so i can again add a payment and change that again or add it or minimize it the next thing are managed banks and again the same thing you would see all the banks here or your accounts and you can simply connect the bank here if you want to so right now i want to show you the next two things uh the reports and then tracking so let's go to reports 
in reports on the left side you can find financial statements accounting and tax sales expenses or team tracking so when you would go to the just report you can see right here that you can find the income state balance sheet uh, on right side accounting and tax tax invoice general ledger sales accounts receivable sales summary or just ex just expenses and then teams and tracking that you can find like all about the projects that you had now when i would go here to income statements i can go and i can see the sales expenses operating income other revenues other expenses net income i can simply export it export as pdf and this is really straight for like every tutorial I made, this like reports is nothing that is hard to understand. Accounting and tax, same thing. Sales, invoice summary, credit card processing, team and tracking, the same thing. So this is how the report works. So the last thing, time tracking. When I'm going to click on a more, I can see right here, tracking. I can simply click on a project and I can add a project name books project contact i can add a contact here billing method i can go with the project rate stuff rate or flat amount we like 15 or project rate hour rate can be 15 budget let's go 100 and i can add a description and i can add a brand project then you can also project can be used with any contact if you want to and you get team members here. Let's click save. Right after I do it, I have it right here. So I can track time. And now I can go with a project description. Okay. I can simply add Marcus Bill, Marcus Pate. And then can start playing. Start playing. <laughs> start working. But for some reason, for some people, it can be, <laughs> it can be played too <laughs> instead of work. And then I just stop it. And as I can see, today's time. Books project, 11 seconds. I can click on it. Marcus Bill, Marcus Paid again. This is really straightforward, really simple to understand. And this is how you can simply do it. Then you get time and pay. And you can mark all as paid. And again, we got a project here and how much time it got tracked so this is how the project works so thank you very much everybody for watching if you have any like questions ask me down in the comments zbooks is really good accounting software mm, and yeah thank you very much have a great day guys and goodbye See